Hello ladies and gentlemen, here we are playing View Tetris as a snap with Miss Quids. Hi. We had all sorts of problems getting this going yesterday. Trying the two player game, the net play. Yeah, there's the problem with snaps, the permissions. Oh, the way around it was to use a dev package, which we did. And then we were trying to use uh, two keyboards and one computer to play the game. And how well did that go? Not very, did it? <laughs> no, and then we tried um, we tried the joystick method, right? And that didn't work either. <laughs> no. So okay. our, our solution is to play the game as one player. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so we do get the options between A-type and B-type. A-type being never-ending, B-type being first of 25 lines. It's not going to be much of a race. <laughs> but I'll show you a bit of the game. That's not nice. <laughs> Look, I've been playing Tetris for a few years. Probably since before I could walk, wasn't it, or something? Yeah. Since before I was born. <laughs> yeah, I've got a bit of practice on you then. <laughs> so, there's no noise. You're playing in a terminal-like interface. In fact, I've actually SSH'd to the virtual machine this is installed on. I don't think... Uh, a Terminal interface was actually going to use too many resources, so the fact I'm SSHing across is not really much of an impact. And this is a great start already, isn't it? It's, oh, look at that, I made some mess already. That's not good, is it? I suddenly changed my mind and I made a right hash of that one, didn't I? <laughs> the random number generator is appalling in this game, it seems like. Uh, the same number of pieces seem... Uh, well, the same pieces can come out over and over again. Yeah, but to be fair, randomness is not as random as people think. Yeah, should use the pseudo random number generator. Mm. Perhaps they should use the different uh, random number choice. Mm. I'm trying to think what they all were. What's that one we're not meant to use from Intel? I've forgotten the name of it. Uh. But anyway, that was uh, another story. Oh, what am I going to do here? I made a right mess of this game. So much for a great demonstration. But hey, all I've got to do is get a 25 lines. <laughs> Still it. better than I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going to see you play. Uh, oh, we're going to see you play. We, you, you could see me play. It, it would be Comical. embarrassing. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> uh, it's not going to go that way, is it? <laughs> Oh, damn it. Couldn't do what I was trying to do there. Oh, now I've ended up making another mess. Don't want to make a mess. Well, I've got ten lines left. Who it is. I'm only going to clear up all the rubbish out at the bottom of the screen. The different height adjustments you can have. That's for I haven't actually seen how high they do go. How high would they go? And how high do they go and how fast do they go? I think we need to try that out. Should we try uh. that next? Not with me. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I try and go to level 9 and see how high it does go and how fast it is? That might be an idea. We definitely need to try these things. I could abandon now since I'm so close to the end. Nah. Got two lines left. Oh, oh, I think we could do this. Yeah. Yay. So exit. And here's the problem if you go and relaunch the program. <laughs> It appears at the bottom because mm. you, you it stores the previous thing. <laughs> yeah, as if it's a command line. <laughs> because it is a command line. So we could just use Q to get out. I was looking for the colon Q to get out. It's Q? Yeah, actually I can't see through the microphone. There's my problem. <laughs> the microphone needs to be across so that I can speak too. So what we're going to try. One player, height of five, level nine. Uh, Glant for punishment. Look at the impact the setup. Yeah, that's. Oh, I didn't mean to change that. Oh, let's fun. See <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, that's quick, isn't it? <laughs> 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 I got one piece right. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, that is just ridiculous. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not some ridiculously great Tetris player. Uh, no chance. <laughs> Okay, I'm not even going to try that again. Maybe on height is zero. I could start it there. <laughs> uh, I could tolerate that for a bit. So at the bottom of the screen we do get a little indicator where the pieces are going to be. It's not like a drop shadow of how I've seen in some Tetris games. 
slight indicator if you're at the bottom of the screen, not much use if you're halfway up. There we go. I will struggle to maintain this speed. <laughs> it's slightly better than that DOS version I played on the original ones. Speed 9 was just literally impossible. At least this is tolerable for a short time if you get the right pieces, which I haven't done. Great, thanks. Thanks, random number generator. <laughs> I'm happy. Aww. Do you want to try now, Miss Quids? Okay. Put it on the easiest <laughs> difficulty for me. Level zero, height zero. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Uh, so now this is just me playing the game, and as you can see, I'm a complete noob. Uh, <laughs> You've only put one piece down. I know. I can't. I'm. So, I get really confused. Do you have a lot more experience in Tetris than I do? <laughs> oh. I don't, I don't, you were asking, the quiz was asking me before about um, where I would have played Tetris and he was like, well what console? Game Boy? Game Boy Advance? And I'm like, I really do not remember. No. <laughs> um, um, Computer of some sort. Yeah, probably some random website version. <laughs> oh, Flash version. Probably, yeah. I I used to love Flash games when I was at school. Does that age me a bit? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to think what operating system I had when I was at school. No. Didn't have the internet. <laughs> no. Um, I'm not sure. Did we have the internet? Um, I'm not sure whether we had the internet. I remember. I remember at school. Primary school, playing a lot of, playing around with paint a lot, which was always fun. Oh, yeah. That seemed to be all we did. <laughs> Those paint. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, I'm not doing too badly actually. No. I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not going very quickly, but I, I'm, get, I'm getting somewhere. Um. Uh, Played solitaire, didn't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't get me started on solitaire. I got. Um, we found it had on your work computer, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. I got I got a bit too excited about it. <laughs> I got a bit too excited about having spider solitaire on my work computer. <laughs> oh, good old spider solitaire. I barely remember that one. <laughs> um, it's just. I don't know what the real difference is between it and regular solitaire, but um, apart from why won't that turn? Ah, oh, it's because I'm going into the wall, yeah, of course. Um, uh, apart from having the spider on the um, uh, suit, there's also the fact that damn it, one off. Um, there's also. It seems to be one suit, a one suit thing. I, I don't know. Anyone who who can elaborate on Spider Solitaire, I, I really can't explain it that well. Did but I always found it fun. Did the spider animate as well? I can't remember. Um, occasionally, I'm well, just thinking of like a weird maybe version. Maybe not from it. yeah, not from the version I know. Um, on the um, operating system that is on my work computer that shall not be named, oh, um, yes. there are. <laughs> Uh, several versions of Solitaire. Um, I can't remember all of them, but I, d I don't know. I, I have fond memories of it. And and Minesweeper. Oh, yes. <laughs> Minesweeper. I, um, sh should I admit to having that as an app on my phone? <laughs> um, I that was that was only because um, one time I was on a flight and I did not. I was like, what am I going to download? And of course, it was it was yeah. We were both on that flight and you already were set up with all your stuff. And I was just like, I have nothing. Let's download some uh, quick games. I don't that many games on mine, do I? No, but you seem to be having more fun than I was. <laughs> Add Sudoku on there. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough to keep me amused for a few hours. Oh, I should have bought my Nintendo Not DS. Oh, I should have bought my Nintendo DS. Um, you allowed those on flights. Yeah, I suppose they allow yeah, them better. Yeah. They, they, they just they don't should. allow um, those Samsung. Yeah, tablets. no, they should allow. They should allow Nintendo DS. Um, mm. 
Didn't have Doesn't, exploding batteries, did they? No, no. Nintendo DS. I don't. I don't have any. Um, oh, damn it! I don't have any. Um, uh, I don't even have. It's not even a DSi. It's just a regular DS. It's just. I'm. I'm, I'm really making a hash of this. Um, uh, but anyway, we've had to talk about <laughs> various um, games on operating systems that shall not be named. <laughs> Yeah, and now we're playing on the one that, that can be named. Yeah, Linux. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a look at it. Um, I was going to mention it. On the settings, there is some of ways that it can be animated. ASCII characters, different block styles. Hey. Yeah, if you want to play it like that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> or custom. Or X's. Hey. X. You. <laughs> Yeah, you can change a different style, and you can have it as mono as well if you really want to go back to playing on some really old system. I can't even say that was like retro because the version I played on the IBM computer had colours, sixteen colours. Did there used to be a black and white version? Ah, uh, was there? I'm trying to think. Maybe if um, some other systems with fewer colours had that, mm, hmm. maybe. That was a look at V-Tetris, which we downloaded as a snap, but is, well, I've noticed, is available as a dev package in the brand new development version of Ubuntu. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all later. <laughs>